It's one day special time and we have got the one and only Tony with us and Thirsty Brush. What a great one day special. I know, I'm Emma this evening. You're going to be Emma? Yes. It's like this is your life. Yes, so Emma's here with you all Emma. tomorrow and she's got loads of samples mm -hmm. and things like that. So yes, Thirsty Brush is the fabulous um, Emma Blake. Mm -hmm. Thirsty Brush Unlimited and she is just so creative, so unique, very colourful and is not afraid to try anything which shows in her work because she is marvellous. That's it and what you're getting here is something very special and let me explain because this is a goodie bag and it's, I actually did this not with crafting but I did this today, I got my package with t-shirts so okay. I bought a mystery bundle. Of t-shirts. Of t-shirts, yeah. but you just don't know the designs that you're yeah, going to yeah. get. I have to say, there is something so exciting about op opening your box and thinking, what did I get? Yeah. Genuinely, I was uh, opening And things you wouldn't normally buy but will wear and everybody says, that's nice. And you're like, well, yeah, I, I, I hope so. I hope so. So th what we're seeing here, everything you're seeing, you will get in the sense of you're going to get your stamps, you're going to get a stencil, and then you're going to get one die set. So five stamp sets, uh, sorry, apologies, six stamp sets, one Five. It's five done. It's five stamp sets, one die, and one stencil. <laughs> In our details, we're just going to change our details. It is definitely five stamp sets, one die, and one uh, stencil. Yeah. But all we can say is we can't guarantee your designs that you're going to get because they're going to vary. They absolutely will vary, but I did say, and I do promise because it's me that puts them together, that um, you will not be sent six or seven things that are just going to be utilised for backgrounds okay. or won't work together. I'll ensure you've got a beautiful background, I'll ensure you've got florals in there, I'll ensure you've got things that are going to work and make a complete card. Nothing where you're going to think, well I've bought this and my gosh what do I do with it. It's going to be, as soon as you open it out you're going to be ready to go. So you're going to get an A5 die which is a 5x7 complete okay. uh, full sheet of metal there. You will get a 5x7 complementing sort of stencil design which mm -hmm. is probably going to be florals or a mask and then you're going to get that you're guaranteed to get some backgrounds in there which Emma's done on herself by a jelly plate and then some shapes some butterflies or some birds or some snails or some backgrounds beautiful absolutely amazing value well and I place a lot of value on your word as well because you show a lot of integrity and I've got to know you now uh, and all the times we work together and I have to say, if Tony's the one putting them together, firstly, you're going to get something that you're going to be very happy with. But also, let's get rid of some housekeeping, because there is a monster saving with the one-day special. You're saving £44.93. If it was just here, great deal, right? But it's not, because you're also going to get the Eureka 101 for free. That is worth £54.99. Can we look at it in a different way as well? <laughs> Let's just think about this, because Eureka, Tony has sold over 20,000 of the Eureka. And we had a show recently together, Tony, where you had the Eureka at a special price, and it flew. We yeah. sold out. So at a discounted price, it was popular. For free, this has got to be busy. But stick with me on this. This is how I'd be looking at it as a crafter. Eureka, 54 quid. Yeah. And that is the regular retail price of Eureka. Now, if we take that off the price of the bundle, um, and help me out here if, if you're okay, Katie, sorry. So, off the £80, well, actually, I can do that. You, look, take £54.99 off your £80. So, you're paying just over £20 for All everything that you're seeing here. <laughs> That's just how my mind would break it up. So obviously you see it different ways, but the saving is incredible. But when you think, real terms, you will be getting Eureka, and we know how much the Eureka is, uh, and we see it time and time again. And then you've got a mystery. You're effectively paying, what, 20 quid for uh, a mystery of dyes, five stamp sets, and a stencil. 16.99 each. You, I mean, you do the maths. But I, uh, it, the uh, Emma asked, can I do a Eureka? Mm -hmm. I'm like, of course you can do a Eureka. Can I do a Eureka free? Uh, that's just pushing it. She's like, well... So you, you know, never want to hear, can I do a Eureka free? Yeah, Whoa. I was just like, we have done it a long, 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 long yeah. time ago. But we haven't done it since. And Emma, obviously, is not new to the brand. She's been with us now for over a year. Yeah. Absolutely successful, so we don't really need to do it. However, because I've come over across as well, mm -hmm. and we're here with brand new viewers, I felt like, do you know what, let's do it. Why not? Mm -hmm. Perfect opportunity for if you've never met Emma or seen Emma's designs then you're going to get those 
and then you can also get the eclectic mix of myself in there as well because the Eureka is my baby since 2017 so yeah. you're going to get both ladies um, from the same company and you're just going to see straight away how well incredibly well we work together mm -hmm. when we stand here every day and tell you that we create products to go with products we really really do and mm -hmm. you will see that if you buy this bundle if you're brand new and don't have a watercolor station a scarring station an envelope maker a stamping aid and you haven't got maybe stamps and dies then literally what a bargain if you've been waiting for the right opportunity to get the Eureka now is the day seriously now is the time because you're getting your Eureka you're gonna get your mystery bundle where you which will include five uh, stamp sets one die set and your stencil in the mix as well and all of that the Eureka the stamps the die the stencil for three flexi payments of £27, absolute bargain. And I do like the little mystery element with this too. But one thing we can guarantee, Tony will be putting uh, this bundle together, so she'll ensure that you get a really nice bundle of, sort of features, backgrounds, everything that you need. Uh, let's head to demonstration. Details are on your screen. We are busy for the one day special from Thirsty Brush. As I say, if you've been waiting for that opportunity to get the Eureka, maybe it's been on your wish list, but you're like, oh, I just gotta wait for the right opportunity. Today is definitely the day. 899081, your item number there. Okay start having a play what are we going to do let's Tony? go for it so in this um bundle that's on set here we have flowers we have large backgrounds we have textures mm -hmm. we have complementing elements and we've got some butterflies we've got sausage the snail and we've got some moths and things S like that sausage the snail yeah it's just there, look. Good, um, just but equally, if you get the bundle, you'll end up with some backgrounds, some florals, some elements you can cut out, and some background detail mm -hmm. and things like that. Okay. It'll not be just all just thrown in for the fun of it, because okay. I would hate for you to get it home and go, what on earth do I do with this? So I'm going to use one of the flowers that's in there. Okay. I'm just going to stamp it onto some white very quickly, just okay. in black. So we were doing a quiz last hour. I know you want to answer the hummingbird question. You probably, I won't hear. know next one, though, will well, I? I'll tell you what, let's make it easy. I'll give you a true or false. Okay. True or false. You can get left shelled and right shelled snails. True or false? True. It is true. <laughs> yeah, some snails. And to the point that there was a big campaign on radio where they were trying to find another left <laughs> swelled uh, snail so they could breed uh, the two together. Okay, true or false? Go on. Did my son eat his tooth with a cheese sandwich? Why? Well, so something like that has got to be true. <laughs> true. He had his tooth. Now he had a wobbly tooth, and he was highly upset that it got went down with his cheese sandwich. Technically, what happens with the just any kids watching Tooth Fairy? What, what happens there? Well, the Tooth Fairy still came. Okay. She didn't have any change, so he, he felt like he'd won lottery. But I did tell him. Gets you know, tooth, it's, a, it's a big tooth, you don't get that on every tooth. No. <laughs> <laughs> you can imagine, can't you? But he was yeah. highly upset. He went, Mummy, I can't find it anywhere. I went, oh. have you just eaten a cheese sandwich? He went, I haven't eaten it with my cheese sandwich, have I? I went, I think you've eaten it. He's eaten his tooth. <laughs> he's eaten it. So he's, he's highly gutted because it's his first tooth that's come out and it's one of his big ones, you know. Oh, oh so the front one. It's gone down a storm, let me tell you. Bless him. So I've just fussy cut this tiny bit out mm -hmm. at the centre of this flower okay. here, look. So the reason I've done that is because the way that Emma sketches is the capability to build layers like a cake. She right. likes layers, so yeah. when she's that. designing, she's always thinking about how it's going to sort of build up. So what I did is I've done it three times, so I've cut the large one, mm -hmm. then the next one down, then the next one down. So let's just build this up. I'm going to leave it... Um, black and white okay. and the only reason I'm going to do that is because Emma now would probably lather it in colour because she, she loves, loves colour yeah. so I'm just trying to show you that you know sometimes it doesn't need if you're looking at it and thinking that that's not my style what Emma would probably do then maybe me showing you it in a different format you might think oh actually I can see that yeah it doesn't that's have to be. The beauty of crafting is everyone's going to approach it from a slightly different, different yeah which is cool isn't it if you look at a yeah. craft product and you know you're going to use it then you know it's going to be a good purchase if you're looking and you're scratching your head going oh it sounds like a deal but i just don't know if i'll ever use it then don't buy it wait for the next thing that comes along yeah. you know so let's get these layers in so earlier in today's show yanis i used this lovely background which emma created on her jelly plate and it's got these circles from bubble wrap oh, yeah. and texture and things like that so i heat embossed it with that um 
That's embossing effective. powder from my new range. What I mean, that's to get Stand your name tall. to get your name yeah. on Wow and um, How did that bottle. happen? And is your range called Stand Tall? Yeah. That's nice. Yeah, always. I like that. So, um, and I just dipped it in some ink earlier in the show, so I've got like a grey scale undertone on there. Mm -hmm. So I'm just going to pop this straight onto um, a piece of black and just make it pop, really. Beautiful. Oh, Helen's had me glue. Uh, oh, she's given you her glue, that's what's happened. She hasn't. Oh, there she wouldn't know. do that, yeah. would she, surely? She's kept a good one for the <laughs> show tomorrow. <laughs> so let's get this onto this piece of black very quickly. Speaking of teething, Archer's got his first molars coming through. Has he? Oh. He's not happy. Rosy cheeks. Rosy cheeks. Slobbering everywhere. Oh dear. He's got a thing, if he gets a runny nose, I don't know if anyone else had little kids, he'll run up to me, all happy, and basically use me as a human tissue. Just face straight onto you. Yeah. Make the most of it, they're not yeah. little for long. Oh. <laughs> so I'm just sticking this onto a nice yes. pink small card blank here. Uh -huh. So that's the beautiful um, background that's in the set. So let's bring in our flower. So I've popped a pad behind the flower. Okay. I'm just going to stick it uh, in the centre here. And then we have our next element, which I'm not going to pad because I'm not a fan of like three and four layers. Right. I like one or two, but yeah, so I, I do it. what I try to do is just add a bit of glue and then sort of tease this bit up a little bit itself oh, so it looks okay. a bit dimensional rather than it have a pad underneath. I like that. Yeah, I, th I think I agree with you. I think that looks nice. Yeah, not too many pads. I don't, I'm no. not a fan of the layers, really. Yeah. Um, it's each to their own. If you want to put pads yeah. under, of course you can do that. And then this third little one here. It actually looks like a tail of a chicken. Oh, or peacock. You know, if, yeah. yeah, or a peacock. Yeah, that looks quite cool, doesn't it? And then, in the die set on there, there is some words, and it says, how old, yeah. which is so cool, because it cuts the um, <laughs> holes out, but in hearts. <laughs> I'm laughing because, again, these are the kind of, when I get birthday cards, these are the sentiments I get on my Me cards too. now. Me too. I know, it's not good, is it, uh, getting old? Hey, I think age is a number. Yeah, I'm just getting started, me. <laughs> <laughs> I said to Paula today, I said, I'm just getting started, I'll be here, I've got another 50 years in me. Yeah, <laughs> more. Come on, nothing's going to stop you, Tony. Pushing it, though. The force of nature. So there we go, just a very simple fussy cut card in 3D, so you will get some floral elements to be able to do that. In this one you've got this large background, sorry. That's okay. Oh, that's the centre that come off, that's no good, is it? Wow. Uh, in there as well though, Yanis, you get the big A5, um, I'll just stick it on upside down now, that is me, I, I am old. showing the age. How old? <laughs> um, is it going to stick now? You get these lovely A5 big backgrounds, yeah. so you've got florals in there, so you could create exactly mm -hmm. the same. So in the sense, hopefully you will be getting like a background of each. Yeah, you know, you'll get try and be nicely balanced. Absolutely, it'll be balanced. Yeah. So I know when you get it home, you'll be able to do a beautiful card straight away. I'm just really conscious of the fact, and that is a beautiful card. Your Eureka, you're getting for nothing. It's effectively uh, a free bonus in this collection. So could we just take a pause for a moment and talk us through the Eureka? Anyone who's not seen the Eureka before, anyone who's maybe had the Eureka on their wish list, why is it so special? Tell shall us the story I do an, it. Shall I unbox it? Yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. Because I packed it back up earlier. So right, it has been used because I used it earlier. That's good. But, um, so basically on the back you get your QR code as always and that's going to take you to all the tuition on mm -hmm. our YouTube channel. There's a thousand and fifty videos on there of all products that we bring to you here at Create and Craft over the last ten years. So you'll see me ginger hair, blonde hair, red hair, brown hair. Through time. Yeah, okay. through time. Getting old. Not like Benjamin, but I'm not in reverse like you. <laughs> so then you pull it out, look, yep. so, so easy. And it comes in a fabulous clutch bag, so make sure you look after it when it's in the clutch bag. Nice. It has an elasticated band around to keep it closed. <laughs> when you open the elasticated band, you get this little pocket here, and inside there is a pocket for your score tool in there, so you're never going to lose that. When you pull the tool out itself, keep it in this. This is uh, the fabric I've chosen so it doesn't sort of attract hair and things like that. So if you have pets, oh, that's good. It doesn't, it's one of those that doesn't attract the mess. It's quite sturdy, yeah, I like that. And then inside, you have a foam mat which is high density so you can do your flower ball shaping. toweling on your flower shaping. Yeah, yeah. Um, and then you have your bar magnet which is super strong which will um, hold 
your MDF and your mat in place should you want to use a clear stamp. If you're using rubber, take it out. So you're going to stamp with a rubber stamp, just take this out. And if you're stamping onto MDF and things like that, just put your artwork in place, your MDF in place, hold it with the magnet and then stamp onto MDF. It stamps onto three and four millimetre MDF. Perfect. If you're not stamping and you're using it for a different station, maybe you want to use it as your scoreboard station. So all you do is take the mat out, pop the board in. You've got increments across the top and the side. This is excellent. So not only can we stamp, now we can score, and I know you've got the envelopes on the back as well. Yep, so when, like on a counter, it slides all over and you end up with wiggly lines and it's just a nightmare, thank you. So when you pop it in here, it's in the casing, it's in the shell, and you have stability when doing all of your score lines. But if you turn it over, you have the capability to do coordinating boxes, and these lines here help you make coordinating envelopes. Now, I have done an out-of-the-box experience for this. There's five videos showing you how to use all of the components it's on create and craft YouTube we've loaded it on there for you and you can get it on our YouTube how to craft right. network so there's lots of ways to go and you know get all of the information Excellent. so let's just go back to this so you have the wells for the watercolor you can pop your seed beads in here if you are um, a seed beader and your felting and your pin can stick in the mat if you want to mm -hmm. and then on the front we have your 8x8 increment down to 4x4 and these lovely crosshairs here are where you would use to stamp the centers of these now, cards this is excellent can we just take a moment to appreciate how clever this is because we've got all our key card blank sort of shapes and sizes but having the crosshairs so say for your 8x8 that is the center of your 8x8 7x7 5x7 that's invaluable i've not seen another platform that does that no, it's just way more than. Yeah. It's, it started out as a watercolor. I wanted to be able to paint on the go, hence the wells around the top and the paintbrush holder. You're never yeah. going to lose your brush if you put we it in the place can where we it stays. You we get the brush with it. it. Okay. okay, and then it just progressed then into well, if I was taking something with me, compact, and I wanted to score a card, mm. would it be cool if it had a scoreboard? That's why it took two years to make. I started it in 2014, launched it 2017. And it's just been simply amazing. And you can get yours for nothing as part of this one day special. Emma got in touch when she was preparing for this, talked to Tony and said, hey, one day special, how about we give away Eureka for free? Uh, it's worth $54.99. You're getting your Eureka 101. You're also going to get a mystery goodie bundle. So there will be five stamp sets. Tony's going to be packing these, so she's going to make sure you get a really nice mix of stamps that work well together. You're also going to get a stencil and a stamp, uh, die set as well. So one die set, one stamp set, sorry, one die set, one stencil, and five stamp sets and the Eureka 101 as a bundle with a monster saving. So your saving is incredible on this, 44.93. Uh, and I've got to say, as a bundle, we are busy. 40% of the stock's gone, and that has stock gone in, we're only second live hour for our one day special. Now, what have you got here? The bucket. The bucket. <laughs> Talk to me about the bucket. So it should have the, a handle on there. The handle's not on this one. But basically, uh, we are the UK distributor for Himmy and Maya. If you haven't noticed by now, Stamps by Me, me as a family company, I love to collaborate with other fabulous companies. I like to... Um, Rather than go out and source something and try and make something better, if somebody's already doing it well, I would just rather use their product. It's just easy. If they're doing it well, why try and yeah, you know yeah. make something better when they're already doing it amazingly? Totally Him and Maya are a group of artists who have their own company, and it's a bit like craft. Crafters create craft products for crafters, yeah. and artists create products for artists. So yeah. basically, it is a massive bucket, and you can have the litre signs on the side. The reason why it's huge, you're going to ask the question, because I was like, honestly, I'm okay Why with this. So big, yeah. Why does it need to be this big? And they said, when um, the water is in it, you oh, nearly. Right. Um, this gets knocked over yeah. all of the time. Whereas when this is filled with water, you're going to have a go at knocking it over. Yeah, it yeah. won't knock over. And what will happen is on the bottom here, we have the grids. Is this this camera? There yeah, we go. This cleans your brush. This cleans your brush. This is an ultra fine. This cleans your brush all at different lengths so you can have confidence cleaning your brush. You have your sponge to take away your excess water and the length is such that your brush will sit across Never. the bucket. Okay, so if you are, uh, this probably, this is why this is actually allocated to Emma's show because this is so Emma. Yeah, it's yeah. so not me. It wouldn't Very have arty. been in one of my shows. But if you are 
a jelly plate printer or um, mixed media or using lots of brushes and you've got lots of things on the go at once, then this is going to be absolutely perfect for you. So it's down to what you know you're going to use at home. Details on your screen. If you do want to get hold of this, you've got two flexi payments of £7.50, but there is a club price on there as well, as always here at Crate and Craft. Your item number is 635768. Now, we are really busy for the one-day special. The way I like to see this is the Eureka 101. When you think about value for money and just in your own terms, tot it up. When you consider, so forget all the savings, just see it as, as crafters, you're getting a Eureka 101 in the bundle. Now that's worth $54.99. You're going to get five stamp sets. And these aren't small stamp sets, they are big A5 stamp sets. So five of those, and you're also going to get the die set and a stencil. So five stamp sets big die set and you're getting the stencil in there as well all of that for 80 pounds and 99 pence break it down at home do your do your own mess i break it down think how much you're paying for your eureka for the five sets of stamps your die and for your uh, stencil and it's funny because i was just thinking about this today genuinely so i ordered some t-shirts just for anyone apologies if you've heard this story earlier on but it arrived this morning, uh, I, I came back from dropping my son off at nursery and saw the package. And I was really buzzed Did to it? see. Yeah, because I'd ordered t-shirts, but it's a mystery bundle. So licensed t-shirts, and you don't know what you're going to get. And I'll tell you, it's something nice. Open it up and think, oh, I wonder what, what I received in here. And I was happy with them all. It's a nice company like yourself, where you can see they put a lot of effort into Yeah, you know you're going to get sourced. something good regardless yeah. of as, if, as if it's not something you would pick normally, but you know you're going to get something That's a good. Key. And I want to stress, these aren't just bundled in willy-nilly, uh, that Tony is going to be packaging all of your orders. So she's going to ensure that you get a really nice mix. You're going to get feature stamps, you're going to get background stamps, uh, and everything will sort of complement each other. Right in saying that? Absolutely, yeah. yeah. I've been doing this now for 10 years and I would never do that anyway. Yeah. Never, yeah. never, never. I would rather not sell them because I just know the disappointment as a crafter when you get something and it's not what it no, was no. made out to be. You're just like, oh, not again. It's a good bundle. So if you do love Thirsty Brush and you love Emma's style, this is a great way. And look, even if you've never, well, I say, this is a really good opportunity. If you've never bought any of Emma's designs or Thirsty Brush designs before, how about giving it a go? Because this is a nice opportunity. And you're obviously you're getting that Eureka uh, thrown into the bundle as well worth $54.99. Right, what are we going to do next, honey? I'm just colouring, adding a bit of colour to this mm -hmm. lovely, like, hexagon type style um, mm -hmm. pattern here. Now, again, something I totally, like, would never design or do. But, you know, when I, when I play with it myself, I think, oh, I can see why you did that. And Emma is absolutely brilliant at creating mm -hmm. things, that snippability. So yeah. I can see already we've got shapes here, which I could cut away, shapes here that I could cut away. The flowers always can be cut away as well. Mm -hmm. And I didn't actually notice that until a couple of months ago when I started playing myself about how she really loves the 3D sort of design on her cards and mm -hmm. how one stamp, you can actually do it. It looks flat, but yeah. she creates it so you can actually do it. So I cool. I think we get too set in our ways as adults. We do. You stop playing around, you know, you, you kind of stay too much in your comfort zone. It's a bit crazy, you need isn't to keep it? that child, childhood uh, sort of uh, <laughs> imagination. Why not, hey? Mm. Life's too short to be anything else. Do something a bit different. Yeah, so I'm just adding a bit of colour. I'm not going to go into great. So because it's got a straight line edge, I had the confidence to just go round with yeah. my scissors and um, just basically cut it out. I'm not going to colour it all because it's totally good. boring. But you can see I use my lid of my Eureka as a messy mat. And right. it's just a wipe clean, so let's just clean it off. Excellent. There we go. So let's bring in our card. Okay. So I've fussy cut some of the elements from some of the bits and pieces on there. And they've got, it's got this cute little, like, oh. moth moth That's idea pretty. yeah it's that way around yep yeah, moth and then she's got some dyes in there with shapes in so we've got this lovely star and then we've got this cool word which has got dream and the heart oh, nice. pop out so you yeah. can sort of i love the idea of you just being mm. able to do it like a valentine's card or something That's where they're cute. going up in red or something so let's put this card quickly together okay. super hey, easy speaking of when we were young i was having a chat with some friends and we we're reminiscing you know, games you play as a kid do you remember kiss chase no you never played Kiss Chase when you were a kid? No. All right, well, maybe you might remember it at home, Kiss Chase. When I was a kid, I used to run slow, hoping the girls would catch up with me. They did, but just say, there's nothing more soul-destroying as a little boy to see the girls sprint right past you <laughs> after the other boys. After, I think my cunning plan's not worked here. Oh, dear. Get left in the dust. Oh, dear. No, I used okay. to play Kirby. Kirby? What's Kirby? Oh, with the ball to ball hit. Ball at the yeah, curb. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bounce at the curb, get another you goal. You catch it if you, you get... 
Double oh, points yes, if you catch yes, it. Yes, 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 Come yeah, on. We played Kirby. I loved Kirby. We put we 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 called it Curveball, I think. Curveball, yeah. Yeah. Good games. I had a brilliant BMX as well. Oh I yeah, BMX. BMX had pegs on. I always used to have my friend on pegs. There was nothing better, nothing better when you could cycle, <laughs> use your bike to you were allowed to bring your, your bike, bike to school. To school yeah. yeah. Not guaranteed to be there when you finish school, like, right? but yeah. <laughs> now, you'll help me out here because I said something on there yesterday and I got total tumbleweed. Okay. Do you remember the crisp? You know, you go to the local news agent, you get the crisp, and there was uh, there were like 10p a pack, but there were so many crisps in there, you had to, you struggled to open them up. You know, the sort of spacey ones? Space Raiders. Yeah, I was, other brands are available. I was trying to oh, walk sorry. around that. That's okay. Oh, sorry. But you remember them, right? Yeah, yeah. Because I said this yesterday, and everybody. Just like, no, we don't remember it. No one, no one backed me up. Yeah, but do you know when you were little, everything seemed big, like a chocolate yeah. bar that used to be, say, double something, always hu but it seemed has huge, but it, now it's shrunk. like, my gosh, it's like... Everything those. shrunk down. It's and like they, a tea they, towel and they, say, they say to it, fun size. There's nothing fun about it being half the size. No way. I'm not, I'm not up for the fun size. There's no, no way. <laughs> everything seems so small, doesn't yeah. it? So I'm just using the word dream here for the backing part. But equally, yeah. you could use some stamps from the set, uh, lamination and stamp a cute sentiment inside. Nice. Let's pop some of these hearts floating up the side. So This is pretty. Really pretty. I mean, it's not a complicated card. Yeah. Super easy. But if you are a clean and simple card maker, Mm -hmm. Just showing you that you do have options. Yeah. yeah. And then we're going to get Artie on our next card. Oh. Okay. And then I've got a true, true or false for you. Oh. I've been thinking about it. Oh, the true. This is good. This is uh, an hour where uh, crafting a bit of quiz. We like it. <laughs> That's very pretty. <laughs> I don't think you'll get next one. Oh, let's see. There we go. Let's have a little look here. That's really pretty. And just showing you how you're going to be using these. So we've got something special for you as a one-day special. Genuinely, let's think about this because what you're getting here is a mystery bundle. If you love Thirsty Brush, uh, we're going to give you a nice mix of stamps. You're going to get a die set and a stencil. So five stamp sets, A5 stamp sets. They are big stamp sets. You're also going to get the uh, die in there and the stencil and the Eureka. This is the thing. If you've been waiting for the Eureka, this is worth $54.99. Uh, We're going to be looking at it in a bit more detail, but we have got a live event uh, starting tomorrow. Here's a video explaining more. Step right up for deals galore, the carousel goes round. Where it stops, you'll never know, hourly deals to be found. From prize draws and offers to three for twos, there'll be so much more for you to choose. Please jump aboard and join in as the Spring Bank Holiday Carousel begins. There's fun to be had, that's for sure. Join us from Thursday the 28th at 4. Tickets are on sale now for Crafting Live at Sandown Racecourse. Featuring exclusive offers and competitions. Over 800 make and takes. Stock up from over 50 exhibitors. And meet and greet our craft presenters. Plus, craft members save 25% off their tickets. Book your tickets now at creatingcraft.com and search for Crafting Live. Can someone email in, please, if um, just we were talking about kids' games that you're playing at school? Because you never played Kiss Chase, and I was saying no. to the team, if anyone did play, I want to just make sure that other schools play Kiss Chase. No one plays? Okay. Email in if you did. Studio <laughs> at creatingcraft.com. Uh, we're going to talk about the one-day special. Over 40% of the stock has gone here. I like to break this down for you. Because for £80.99, pence, look at what you are getting. And this is how, at home, I'd be kind of thinking about it in my head. The Eureka 101. Now, we had the Eureka 101 at a special deal. It was a, a one-off special deal. It was like £45. We sold out. It flew out the door. You're not paying anything for this here. So this is throwing this a bundle. But let's just break down the value. So for £80.99, you're getting your Eureka 101, which is an incredible creative station. You can paint with it. It can uh, act as a scoreboard. You can create cards. You can play envelopes, boxes. Uh, you can also use it to flower shape. It's a stamping platform. It does so much. So that is going to be something that stays pride of place in your workroom, uh, craft room all the time. That's incredible. But then here, 
I mean, value for money, you're getting such an incredible mix. It is a lucky dip. I cannot guarantee you're going to get these exact de designs. But what I can say is you're going to get five stamp sets. Look at the size of the stamp sets. I apologize, my hand does not look good on screen. I know it's hairy, but I want to give you an idea of the size. So you're getting five stamp sets, you're going to get one die set, and you're going to get one stencil. So think about that for £80 and some change. Five stamp sets, die set, stencil, and the Eureka 101. That is an incredible deal. It is. No, incredible deal. It is amazing. And if you get it at home, you'll not be disappointed. You'll be thinking, what an incredible purchase. Because I just know you will have it on your counter. You'll use it all the time. It's not one of those items that disappear in that dark drawer and it never sees the light of day again. Everybody who gives me feedback, who I've spoken to, who comes to talk to me at shows, at events, always say to me, best thing I ever purchased. And I always say, you know, when you invest in a considered purchase and it lets you down, it puts you off doing it in the future, doesn't it? Mm. but honestly you won't be let down by this at all it's a go-to tool that is gonna help you with your crafting as your scissors do and your glue do well okay let's think about <laughs> this because how much normally would one of the stamp sets cost you 16.99 16.99 the Eureka regular retail price 54.99 just really basic maths in my head if you were to see the value of everything that you were getting here breaking it down let's just say 20 pounds for the Eureka. If we were to offer the Eureka for 20 pounds, you would absolutely bite my hand off. <laughs> Stick yeah. with me here. And the reason why I said 20 pounds is just to make my life really easy with the mass. Then, if we were to say 10 pounds for the die set, uh, each for that die set, and 10 pounds for each of the stamp sets, and 99p for your stencil. That is effectively just breaking down the value uh, that you're getting there. Have I said 91 pounds? Too much. <laughs> Well, that's why I was trying still, to make my mess. Still easy. too much. <laughs> okay, forget it. Uh, well, okay. Well, let's take off. Then you're getting basically the um, the die for free. Free. Yeah. yeah. Uh, look, break it down however you like. But what I really want to get across, and I apologise, I'm not trying to complicate matters, but genuinely, this is how I shop. Eighty pounds and ninety nine pence is the money that's leaving your account. Look at what you are getting. Let break down the value of the goods. The fact that you're getting the Eureka 101 here. The fact that you're getting five stamp sets one die set and you're getting the stencil and it's the size of them too I mean think with that, that die set I always say Yanis when you watch TV sometimes things are larger than you anticipated you don't yeah. really get the scale of what they're gonna come like or like you think they're big and they come small or you think yeah. they're small and they come big these are a five yeah. in design they're huge so if you think about an A4 piece of paper mm. score it in half that's the size and the mm -hmm. carrier sheet is full we only really do a5 um, stamps and dies anyway we work on yeah. a template that works for stamps by me so you just know whatever you're gonna get it's gonna be full it's a big one it is it's bigger than your hand it's bigger than my head well they are a really good size funny enough yeah that's the thing with the sizes that you're getting here Katie will produce said she had the same thing when she was doing her dating and something you know size can be misled but what you're getting here <laughs> is um, it's such a great bundle. Eight nine nine zero eight. I don't know where she was at applying. Uh, eight nine nine zero eight one. Your item number. Let's talk about the bucket. Uh, have a look. Speaking of size, so we got the bucket here. Nice look. Uh, so what you're getting is the thirsty brush Maya clear water bucket. Fourteen ninety nine your price. But if you're in the club, thirteen forty nine uh, there as well. And you have got your two flexi payments. Okay. Let's continue uh, the fun. There won't be a stamp set with a shovel on it. You're all right. Okay, that's good. <laughs> it would have been handy right about then. What are we going to do next? Right, I'm just going to grab some ink pads and we're going to add a bit of colour to this card. So any random ink pads you've got in your stash, eyes ink, uh -huh. distress, and I'm just going to swipe. I love the swiping technique. I do that it all the time. Nice. I do apologise if it looks like no, I do I like the same it. demo all the time. This is different though. Okay. So I'm just going to add some colour to this card. I have one pre-made, mm -hmm. but I'm just showing you how I did it. So just a bit of random blue. Oh, thank you so much. Sharon, you've saved the day. I really appreciate you emailing in because I was starting to doubt myself here because I was asking everyone around me and no one played Kiss Chase. Sharon remembers Kiss Chase and she also remembers, you must have played this game where you knock on a door and you run away. No. You never did that either? No. You were too busy playing Kirby. That's what you were I was too busy on my BMX. Ah, fair enough. Oh. Sharon, thank you so much. Should we do it? I know we're coming towards the end, the, the end of the show. Well, no, we're halfway through the show. Email in games you remember playing, great games you remember as a kid. 
You know those sort of in playground games? What was the one where you had to run under someone's leg to free them? Stuck in the mud. I never heard of that. What games did you play in your, in your playground? We used to eat like, see how many raspberries, red raspberries you could eat at once. You did food challenges. <laughs> yeah. You know, red ones that are really sour. Yeah. They were like that. <laughs> yeah. They were like, how many? Count them in. Count them in. They were like about well, 25 red raspberries. I can imagine like... you're, you were very determined as well, too. Oh, yeah. yeah. So you just like. <laughs> And things like that. Paul's emailed in. Okay. Bulldog. Do you remember Bulldog? I loved Bulldog. Oh, finally. Paul, yeah. you've done it. A game, remember. Sure, these are games we should in the car. If it, well, there's too many cars in the car park. We need a space and you know, have a company day where we go out and play these old games. Oh, gosh. Mm. So I've just swiped <laughs> that ink look all over. And I would just continue to add colour and layers. And then all I would do is I'd just take my brush, add some splats, and then I'd lift it off so it'd give me the bleaching effect. I've already got one done, but just for okay. instance here. So I'll set that aside and it'll dry. And then you'll end up with something that looks something like this, you see, which is a smaller. Can you see I've done mm -hmm. that's the bleaching when you lift it out? Right. So what I've done here is I've got a piece of black card and yeah. I, I didn't have a circle die. That's okay. So what I did was I just drew around some products I had in my craft bag. You didn't cut those out, did you? Yeah. You did a really good job. Not a bad effort. Yeah. So um, I just cut them out with my scissors and I've created myself a circle stencil. And the okay. reason I've done that is because I'm going to do a sort of a technique. Right. Have you ever heard of this technique? Of the what technique? <laughs> <laughs> I missed the first bit. Have you ever heard of this technique? Yeah, I haven't. I haven't told you it yet. Yeah, I haven't done it yet. It's part of a true, uh, true or false, oh, so you just okay. have to stand well, by. True or false, have I heard of a technique that you haven't told me yeah, yet? Yeah, just let me just do it first because it'll distract me because okay. I can't, I can't pull the task. <laughs> okay. So let's, so basically I'm just going to get some colour here yeah. and I'm just going to put it through the stencil. Ah, so it's spotlighting. You, you say stent, no. Well, oh. you could call it spotlighting, I guess. You get away yeah. with that. Okay. So basically I'm just going to pop some and then when you could see you get like a circle. Yeah. So let's just get a few of these on here first. So nice. I'm using gold here. Mm -hmm. Nice. So I'm using the uh, pigment inks here. Yeah. Are you channeling your inner Emma? Y yeah. yeah. Okay. She says. So I'm going to use the different size ones. Do you want the air content down a bit? Yeah, I'm sniffling. Yeah. Well, <laughs> you okay? You're okay. It's okay. I am yeah. sniffling, but it, well, it was on earlier on. The embossing powder was just blowing right. everywhere. It was sticking <laughs> to my eyelashes. So you want the eyelashes to like great. a Christmas tree. <laughs> so playing a blizzard with yeah. embossing powder. Yeah. So um, I'm just going to do. I'm use the th three. I've used three sizes here. Mm -hmm. So it's cool to swap out gold, but then. Let's use a red as well. Hey, let's just be a little bit creative here because Emma would totally go for red or, or orange. And then again, mm -hmm. get some other colours on here. Mm -hmm. Marbles. Did you mar what about conkers? Conkers, yeah. Yeah, but did you play stampsies? Mm, no. So with conkers, if your conker came off the string, then the person can stamp on it if you don't pick it up quick enough. That's a bit unkind, isn't it, when you've spent hours in vinegar and putting it in cooker? That's the rules of stampsies. No, it's the rules of stampsies you're allowed. No, I won't be having that. Okay. I'd be falling out with you if you stood on mine. I discovered some uh, conkers that have been in my parents' loft, like I owned. They were in a toy box. They, they're like 30 years old. <laughs> so I'm going to give them to my son when he goes to school to play yeah. conkers. Nothing. Oh they're God. indestructible. He's gonna, he's definitely yeah, they're like win. steel. He's definitely going to win. So I've done like some. Oh, this is so pretty. this sort of look, uh, this look, these circles Another. here. Yeah. I'm trying to think of a good question to try and catch you out. Go on. In fact, okay. So bocker. Yeah. Means something to do with the atmosphere, or something to do with photography. I think photography. How did you know? Well. Uh, just sounds like something to do with photography. It is. Hey, I've got one for you. Oh, let's move on. True or false, polar bears are actually a different colour under their fur. Yes. Yeah, it's true. They got their oh, black, yeah. their, their skin's black underneath their fur. Yes. And do you know polar bears, and this is true, it sounds like a joke, but if they want to hide, they do this. They put their paw over their nose. Because then obviously they're, they're fully white. You're looking at me like I'm very odd there, Tony. This is, this is true, true fact. So yes, polar bear <laughs> stalking you. I love David Attenborough. By sneaking up. That's how I sneak up on people because the first thing they see is my nose. I think I think you've got issues. <laughs> <laughs> I literally. <laughs> we gave you to, to play up and you, sneak you up on people. Know that, I think you're in wrong career. 
Yeah, so, I'm just popping, so basically I'm trying to create what's known as a bock technique which basically okay. is in photography you get those like spots of circle lights light. on yeah, yeah, yeah like if you look at a Christmas tree in the distance you get the that's beautiful as a background so I'm just going first of all with a light shade of white mm -hmm. and this is what sort of brings it to life a little bit can we see here this is really pretty so you, use, you need sort of three or four different um, does it depend on the inks I'm using pigment it works better with pigment you get better coverage okay. but um, use three different sort of um, shapes with the circles it just gives you that better effect so you can see here would it help you if we um, got the aircon turned off here because we can get it turned off on this side of the studio <laughs> I don't know. Yeah? probably it, not okay. it's fine though don't worry don't worry um, I'll just keep sniffing throughout oh, bless you no we'll, try, we'll see if it helps we'll try and turn it off and we'll see if it helps. right so I'm just gonna now I've just done a light color there can we see that there now if you want can to I lift that up and show everyone yeah this is really really pretty but very achievable So I'm just going to bring it to the foreground a little bit more. Okay. That looks and just like a designer paper. It does, doesn't it? So then when sort of press on lightly with that and then on your last one, really go to town and get that white on. Press it really hard. Get that coverage on there. Mm -hmm. And it'll push all the other ones bubble. to the back. And then you can see how it sort of comes to life. Mm -hmm. Nice. Yeah, oh, it's all right, doesn't it? Okay, it's great. Let's leave it at that for now, then. Okay. And then, so it just shows you that you just cut three mm. it, or three circular dies out of your work. Mm -hmm. And then, if you get a white pen, look, you can create like you know the um, the bubble, the star, like it's a a oh. reflection. Oh, sorry, I thought you were going to put little strings to create bubbles. No, like um, yeah, no, like a light flare. Yeah, just to make it look. Can you yeah, see that? That's yeah, what it looks like. Be a bit more um, creative with your press on a little bit hard. It's a little bit wet, is the ink, but you get the idea. Mm. Yeah, pretty. Okay. And do that a few times. Let me just um, grab this tissue here. Yeah, okay. Thanks, so I'll, talk, I'll talk while I'm we're doing I'm going to do a bleaching effect on there, but with my nose and. Okay. <laughs> Hey, uh, if it works, uh, we're just going to show you a, a still of, uh, or a picture rather, of what you're getting as part of our one day special. Look at everything that you are getting. So, we are talking the Eureka 101. You're also going to be getting five stamp sets, one die set, one stencil. And these aren't small stamp sets. We are talking A5 stamp sets, A5 stencil, A5 uh, die set, all for £80.99. pence. That is incredible. And you can split it three ways as well. £27 is your first flexi payment. Okay. Well, just um, going just tarting it up a little bit so just adding that detail okay zhuzhing it up zhuzhing you take your time with this but it really does look effective when you've done a few on there you know yeah. take your time and do it okay. and then let's get some white splats on there mm -hmm. so oh, okay. that are just eyesing splatting we were talking about this with helen different splat techniques oh yeah just i mean that's gone green now because my brush but it's fine add some splats just to make it a little bit more arty if you mm -hmm. want to and then quite simply mm -hmm. let's just tidy that off there not with the same tissue I just wiped my nose with a different one okay. I promise it is my Eureka so it's okay. okay but you can see the messy station give it a spritz with some water give it a good clean off and it'll be really um, easy to use all of the time just stay on top of it really so let's just get this on here mm -hmm. but this just goes to show you that Emma's sentiments and embellishments that go with if you want to create your own background and be quite creative, then you can absolutely do that. And then this can go onto our backing card. Nice. So I like to do layers of same colour tone on tone. Yeah, that's really pretty. A little bit different, I guess. And then um, I have How Old. Mm. Our sentiment. This is a popular sentiment amongst the team. That's because I'm working with you. Yeah. That is the sentiments I tend to evoke out of people. <laughs> How old are you? How old? And then also I did cut a dragonfly, and oh. I would probably colour his wings up a little bit. Yeah, Let's pretty. pop in, him on too. Yeah. Let's um, jazz him up a little bit, so I'll get some glue on his wings. Mm -hmm. oh. And then let's just throw some sparkle on him. Bit of sparkle. Were you going to lift that up? Yeah. 
<laughs> all going to try here. <laughs> Silly. And then let's just pop the excess onto here. Do you help? I can put it back in the pot bean. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And what will happen is because my pigment ink is still wet, it'll stick to that white circles, which, in my opinion, looks pretty awesome. Let's have a little look. Yeah. That is cool. Not a bad effort. So try that technique with the three sort of circles and with the white ink. There we go. Tony, I love that. Oh, let's have a look here. There we go. See, see, it's more. That is magical. Try it. Give it a go, guys. Yeah. But the sentiment and the butterflies, you're going to get an eclectic mix okay. anyway, aren't you? We're going to try and squeeze in one last demonstration. As we do that, let me give you a reminder of our one-day special. And again, I, I look, I'll be honest with you. This is how I approach things as a shopper. Forget crafting just in, in every aspect of my life. You are paying £80.99. pence. That is the money that you're going to be paying for this bundle. Look at what you're getting and break it down for yourself. The Eureka 101, I've done shows with Tony where we've sold it for £45 and that's at discount rate. It is normally £54.99. We sold it for £45 and it has flown. I mean, it's sold out. So you're getting your Eureka 101, which is worth $54.99. And that's free in the bundle. But you're also getting the stamps, five stamp sets, a die set and a stencil. My advice, break it down however you like let's say the eureka 101 is 20 pounds then look at what you're paying for the others because you can put it into context there because you know that the dies uh the die set an a5 die set what we're looking at about how much would that normally be for the uh, 16.99 okay so 16.99 there the stamp set 16.99 this is the typical value uh, that you'd be paying for those and the stencils in there as well so when you break it down and you look at the product that you are going to be uh what's well, going to be arriving at your doorstep that is a really good price i have to stress that the stamps, the die, and the stencil is a mystery bundle. It's a lucky dip. We can't tell you what uh, stamps and dies you're going to get. But one thing I can guarantee you, it's going to be Tony that's going to be packing all the orders, and she will ensure that you get a really nice, well-rounded uh, bundle of die, stamps, and stencils. And of course, you get to enjoy the Eureka 101. If you've been waiting for the Eureka 101, the right opportunity to get it, today is definitely that day. Okay. okay, so that nice pretty background, what we did, what I splattered, mm -hmm. let's just use that, hey, because I can. So I'm going to, on this particular one, you get a, a, an A5 set which has got four backgrounds in. So you can see here we've got like raindrops, flowers, yeah. hat, cross hatch, and That's then cool. this one which has got circles on like it. Bubbles. Bubbles, yeah, which would have gone well on the other card, I guess. Would have, yeah. So I'm just going to pop some detail onto the back mm -hmm. of this. Oops, sorry. Okay. Um, we'll just do it in black. Yeah. And we'll stamp this out. Mm -hmm. If you're in a wheelchair and you purchase a Eureka, it's been made as such that it only needs fingertip dancing. It will the the mm -hmm. stamp automatically kisses the not the kiss game. Mm -hmm. kisses the cardstock so you Kiss don't it. have to have pressure however if you want assistance with a grip or with the hands and things like that a brayer oh, okay just yeah. use a brayer we see helen goes for she she's kind of like, Ooh. yeah she's yeah. it's all about fingertips i think carly's made a dance out of it you know fingertip dance fingertip dance yeah. so it's super easy so i'm just going to swap nice. this over and i'm going to get that's a really nice point that's a really nice point. So if you are sitting down um, or you are in a wheelchair and you can't stand up and put a lot of pressure, but you're still able to use it. It will really help you, actually. Absolutely. It's, it's, the depth on this took me a long time to figure out because I really wanted it to work on home decor. I thought, well, if you want to be stamping, what do we stamp onto? Mm. What are the sort of core things that people like to stamp on? And MDF and home decor has just gone through the roof, hasn't it? it has. So um, the mm. capability now to be able to stamp onto MDF, I mean, some MDF pieces are huge, big hearts and things. Well, your platform is nearly nine, nine inch wide, so you can get some good substantial yeah. pieces of um, really good point. MDF, MDF in here as well. Nice. MDF tags, all sorts yeah. going on, really. Just go for it. Pretty. Like so. So just going back to the white again now, you could, in fact, I might just... Mm. paint some of them in and the, it's, it's cool isn't it because some things you would look at and you think hang on a minute it is just a circle what, what would I do with that mm. but if you just look beyond the circle 
be a little bit more creative I think it's just it's just amazing and you're gonna get lost in it which is what crafting is all about really and I like how you use every aspect of your Eureka it really is a crafting station for you it's not just a one trick pony as in a stamp platform it's so much more it is and you never see me without it unless something really bad's happened okay. like it's bounced down the stairs or right. it's funny because it's I am um, you know when you click your boot on your car mm. Clicked the boot on my car and everything just came crashing out. My die cutting oh, machine went across no. drive and my ink pads all face down in the yeah. mud. I was like, ah, what's all that no. about? So I'm just building them up and just pushing that colour back behind. Mm -hmm. So you could do this with a gel pen if you don't have uh, white pigment ink, whatever you have in your stash, really. And then you can go on and even. And circles are just great, aren't they? Because. Mm. You can do so much with circles, like I've just put that on there now, mm -hmm. but if you want to move this out of the way and maybe decorate the card even further, we'll take the cross, cr oh, I don't know, there's that many hatch. decisions, let's do the cross hatch, yeah. you could pop the cross hatch, nice. just so, and what I'm going to do with this cross hatch is I'm not going to use it as a full thing, I'm going to do a, a edging. you know, one of them wonky borders. Yeah, 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 so like a doodle border. Yeah. Okay. So let's just grab our ink. And if you get any ink on your door, don't worry about it. It won't touch. It won't uh -huh. go across. Oh, I've <laughs> inked the wrong side. This side, Tony. It'd help, wouldn't it? It's late, guys. Hey, bless you. It's funny because I always, like, now it's really late for me. Like, my day starts at 5 a.m. Yeah. Like, some people are just getting out of bed at 10 out of them. My day's over. Wait, 5 a.m.? <laughs> is that... Because uh, is that I just get up early, early. Just yeah. Get just up get up early. early. I've got all things to do. I need yeah. to get on with things and... Just things like that. So mm. I'm, my day's nearly done when people are surfacing out of bed. So I'm just going to go further down. I'm just going to take that continued design. Mm. And again, it doesn't matter if it doesn't match. It's yeah, just yeah. going to create that border Perfect around my artwork. So when I'm on an early shift here, uh, uh, creating craft, I have to get up at um, four o'clock. Yeah. And again, when you're on your road, get on the road around about four thirty. No one's on there. It's great. Though, when you see, it? It's lovely, but when you look at around, you think, well, I wonder where everyone else is going to. Everybody else in bed. Yeah. So I'm just following that design all the way around. Giving mm -hmm. my, I'm not even going to repeat that because I quite like yeah, the sort of pushed nice. back. Move it over. So sh second generation. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Do you know, it's really weird during lockdown driving to, obviously we had to drive to the studio. Yeah. And it was odd <laughs> because the roads were deserted. You see like the odd, uh, especially around here, you would see the odd other car. But then, when everyone started coming back onto the roads again, it was it was crazy. Yeah. yeah, you got used to having the roads to yourself. Yeah, but we had no staff in work either. But we still went into work, mm. and um, it's only like a two-minute drive. But there's a roundabout. I never had to break at the roundabout straight, straight over. Yeah. But as soon as everybody was like back on the roads, all like, oh, I've stopped being the wrong mm. side again. Um, yeah, it's just took me a, bit, a little bit longer. Uh, that does that not feel like it was a long time ago now I to know. you? That we'll look back in. Ten, five, ten years time, or look, say ten, twenty, thirty years time, and people won't believe that the whole world practically stood stood still for a year. I mean, no one before all of this happened. No, one, if so, if you told someone that everyone would be locked in and you'd only get to go out for like a walk, or if you had to go to work, you wouldn't believe them, would you? No, and the, at first you were allowed to go out for a walk, but then they even stopped that. Can you remember? Mm. They were like, oh my gosh, this is going to be a, a long old time. So basically, look at that. Look how cool that looks. Yeah. That's very arty. Emma's going to be really pleased with me for that. Yeah. And then you get in this set, specific set, you get a set of uh, five by seven dies, which have got shapes and words in there. So then you can obviously build on top. Mm -hmm. And I like to just pull the edges up. I like a bit of dimension, but not pads and things like that. Mm. And then you can put your sentiments on, but there's big ones as well, which equally you can stick on the side and then just um, cut away when it's dry. Turn it over. Good tip for cutting out. Cut away the detail and then what you cut away from here. Use on something else? Yeah, you can either use on something else or move it onto an extra, a different element of your card. Yeah, so yeah. maybe... Oh, uh, yeah, that's nice. Like so. And then all, we, all you need to do then is, I'm not going to do it, but all you need to do is just add a sentiment, match it onto a card. Oh, we've got off a bit of sparkle. Yeah, cool. Sparkle. The trademark. 
Sparkle mad. Let's get some sparkle in these circles. Uh -huh. If you don't like glitter, use your quicker glue pen or your stickles because that just stops the mess if you don't like the mess. Yeah. Same, shall we go with the same looks on the one I've got out anyway? I don't have any card. No, well done. Tap it in. Nice. I'll, I'll you put that away oh, if you want. Tap, tap, tap. <laughs> <laughs> and then all it needs is sentiment and matting onto a card, and you've got quite something quite arty, really. I don't know. What do you think? Oh, I, think I would probably take the white gel pen and put some stitch in that star. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah, I'd agree with that. Yeah, it needs something. It needs need something, something, yeah. It would look nice with a sentiment, but you get the idea. The background mm. elements, the circles, the hatches, the rain, the flowers can incorporate frames, little toppers, elements. Yeah. You don't have to be used as just all the some circles. Do you know what I'd be using? Your wow embossing powders uh, on the black. I'd use maybe a stamp and get some texture. And, get, and yeah, get that. it on yeah. there. Look great. It's very uh, sparkly. Thank you very much. I hope you've been enjoying the house. It is our one day special. We're just going to give you a little reminder of what you're getting as part of the one day special. So we are talking Thirsty Brush, the ultimate goodie bag. Look at what you will be receiving. So five mystery A5 stamp sets, a mystery A5 die set, and a mystery A5 stencil. And on top of that, you will be getting your Eureka 101 as well. So, uh, I mean, as a bundle, everything that you're seeing in front of me right now, Tony, myself, all of this, the Eureka 101, five stamp sets, a die set and a stencil for £80 and some change, £80.99 pence if you're in the club. That is incredible value for money. And Emma stencils are awesome as well. They're really, really different in design. You don't see them around much where they'll sort of like got masks and flowers and em uh, embellishments in there. And they're captivated within that frame as well. So brilliant for your ombre. But if mm. you want to use your sticky ink pad and pop them through because the spaces are such, you can put your, your embossing powders through as well. It's really, really cool. It's a good bundle. And also I feel that life... We, the theme of the show today, we were reminiscing about games you played as kids. And I think as you get older, life, you have so many few less surprises. You know when you're younger, you like, really, what am I going to get for my birthday for Christmas? Oh, yeah. But as you get older, those surprises dwindle. So this is a nice That's opportunity. That's why we have babies, though. Well, very true. That's a nice little surprise. We get to live yeah. through them, That's true. That's very true. So uh, you're getting a nice surprise in the form of the stamps, uh, the dies and stencils. Remember, they are a mystery. Can't guarantee what designs you're going to get. It is a lucky dip, but Tony is going to be the one packing them. So one thing I can guarantee is you're going to ensure that it's a good bundle. I'll make sure it's good yeah. for you all. And you're also getting the Eureka 101. Can I just say a huge thank you to everyone that's joined us this evening. Big thank you to Tony as well. Surprise getting to work with you tonight. I know. Who's in tomorrow? Emma's in it morning. Okay. And she's super excited and she's got all samples to show you, so don't forget to tune in. Make sure to Amazing. tune in and spend some time with yes. Emma. Thank you for your company. Thank you, Dodie. Bye.